this video, I'm going to show you how to find Cronbach's alpha using Excel. There isn't a direct function that does it Excel, but there's a workaround that's fairly simple and fast that I'll show you how to do here. Um, first, if you want to follow along, you can download this data set. Just look in the show notes for a link. Also, I'm using 365. If you have a different version of Microsoft Excel, then things might look a tiny bit different. You're also going to need under the data tab to have this data analysis option here available. If you don't have it, I'll show you quickly how to get it. Click on file, go down to options. This will pop open. You're going to click on add-ins. You're going to want this right here, but just click on go down here under Excel add-ins. Click on these first two and click on OK. And that will provide for you this um, tab right here, which is what you're going to need. Now this option right here isn't going to have um, um, Chrome Back Sales or any form of reliability listed as an option. However, we're going to get around it by doing this option right here. We're going to run a two-factor ANOVA without replication. And from those results, we're going to be able to very quickly calculate Chrome Max Alpha. So we want the, the two-factor ANOVA without replication. Now this window will pop open. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my data. I'm going to have labels in my columns, so I'm going to go ahead and, and check that right now so I don't forget to. And I want to come over here, and I'm going to first click on Input Range, and then scroll over, and I'm going to take these 20 items. These are a fictional um, 20 item scale. They're, they're fictional data, so there's not going to be a very good alphabet. It's going to get, allow us to practice doing the technique. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, it'll be easiest if you put it into a new worksheet, um, but you can also um, have it output just within this sheet by telling it the cell where you want the upper left hand corner of the, of the results to begin. So I could put AA1 for example in here if I wanted it on the sheet. But I'm going to go ahead and put in a new sheet. For me that's a little bit cleaner, particularly when it's big output. Click OK. And um, I had this problem here where it's showing non-numerical data. I don't think it likes this. There's a few functions here within this um, interface where that's problematic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click off the labels option and I'm just going to go ahead and select the actual data this way instead. I find every once in a while it's problematic some of these functions if I don't do it that way. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK and um, you'll see here that I've got some information here. I don't really need any of that. What I want is this table at the very bottom. So if you go down to this table at the very bottom, we're going to look at these mean square error values. And what I'm essentially going to do is I'm going to take this value here at the bottom, the 1.499, so the error mean square, divide it by the rows mean square, and then I'm going to do 1 minus that. Okay, so I'm going to do one this divided by this, 1 minus that. So what I'm going to do is I'll just maybe type in here alpha, and I'm going to do 1 minus parentheses this value here, okay? So it's going to be right up here I want dot value. Oops, forgot to put the equals, that's my problem. Put an equal sign first. Okay, and then I'm going to take that value right there, divided by, and I'll select this value right here, close parentheses, hit enter, and you see my alpha, and it's very poor, and that was expected because this isn't um, good data, it's just fictional data that I've, I've got for this purpose. So that's my Chromebox alpha right there. So it's just really a, a kind of a two-step process, run the run the um, ANOVA, and then from the results, you just need these two values, that divided by that, and then one minus it, and I've got my Chromebox Alpha.